Hey everyone, Frazier here for Complex. Last Thursday, the New York Times published an unsettling and thoroughly reported investigation exposing veteran Hollywood heavyweight Harvey Weinstein as having a history of sexual harassment towards several female employees and actresses going back decades. That initial report was followed by an even more disturbing one than the New Yorker, which added to the list of victims, both famous and not, and upped the allegations against Weinstein to rape. Since those stories dropped, the following days have seen more people in Hollywood coming forward to share encounters with Weinstein that support accusations of his history of inappropriate behavior, including Gwyneth Paltrow, Angelina Jolie, and Cara Delevingne. Additionally, the multitude of actors who have worked with and maintained very close relationships with Harvey over the years have come forward to denounce him and support the women who have come forward. Some of these men were actors who owe their careers to Harvey, like Ben Affleck and Matt Damon, whose denouncements have come under harsh scrutiny and suspicion. But the one statement everyone has been waiting on is from Quentin Tarantino, arguably one of Weinstein's longest and closest collaborators. Weinstein and Miramax distributed QT's breakout film Reservoir Dogs, and they've been down ever since. Weinstein even threw Quentin's engagement party earlier this year. So, understandably, everyone's been waiting with bated breath to see what the veteran director would say and what side he would land on. Quentin has finally broken his silence, sort of. Earlier this morning, actress Amber Tamblyn, a close friend of Quentin's, tweeted out a statement written by him. She prefaced it by saying they'd had a long dinner, and he asked her specifically to share it. It reads, For the last week, I've been stunned and heartbroken about the revelations that have come to light about my friend for 25 years, Harvey Weinstein. I need a few more days to process my pain, emotions, anger, and memory, and then I will speak publicly about it. It is curious that QT released a statement for his statement, and it's still unclear where he'll ultimately land on all of this. But this is a two-decade-plus friendship, so his hesitation is somewhat understandable. We'll wait to see how Quentin expands his thoughts further as the accusations and case against Weinstein continue. Keep it locked to Complex News on YouTube for updates on this story. For Complex, I'm Frazier.